Hey, bargain boondocker here. You know, one of the drawbacks to having a trailer with, with lights on it, even if it's a little utility trailer like this, with lights is every once in a while, that ends up like that. And then it comes along and starts raining. And you end up with a bunch of mud getting in there. And you got no connection. And I'll be up camping sometimes and a pigtail kind of comes off, falls down. It rains. That splatters mud all up over the end of it. And I kept thinking, what can I do to keep that from happening? Because sometimes I've tried laying over here and it works its way around. And finally, I came up with that. Made out of a couple of pieces of PVC. Very simple. Slip right on. You'll notice that the front one is bigger than the back one, and we'll talk about options on that as I show you how to make this. It's very simple, very cheap, and obviously it works. Okay, so what we're going to start with here is a piece of two inch. PVC pipe to make our uh, holder for the pigtail off the trailer. Keep it up out of the dirt and mud, you know. And I'm going to cut it down to oh, about four inches long. I measured the pigtail to see how much I needed for the plug, and eh, that'll be plenty. Now with this piece that's left over, oh, what is that, about three inches maybe? I'm going to cut it this way, see if I can spread it around the Sorry, this way. See if I can spread it around the uh, the jack, the tongue jack on the trailer. Well, it wasn't easy, but I got it spread out and around there, and I'm going to apply some glue to the side of it. And I can glue that on, and once it's set, we can drop that right into it. So that'll go on the side of that, so whenever it's, you spin it, it'll be completely out of your way. All right, let's get to gluing. And there it is. Then all you gotta do, keep your pigtail out of the mud, is just stick it right in there. Well, it would be if it let the glue dry on it. Okay, now that the glue has definitely dried, it's been like two days. I had other things to do. So now you just take it, flop it in there, and it's held. And it drains out the bottom and all that. So you're good to go on it. So another option you can do with this, where this one is not as tall as that one, and it's just spread apart and clamped itself on with its own pressure, and maybe you don't want to fight with it to get it on there, because it is difficult. Put it down over the top, run it down into it. You can actually reverse these two, put the taller one on the back, and then cut it in half. So you have like you know, here, and the same on the other side. And then you could have the, this extra piece that hangs down the bottom, not the top, where you could run a hose clamp around it. I guess you could use wire ties. I just don't know if they would stay as, as well. But that's just another option you could do if you didn't want to, you know, fight with this, or if you've got an electric jack thing on top that make, keeps you from being able to do that. This one was just real simple. I didn't have to buy any clamps. It's just glued together. And it it works it's solid so i was i was going to put a plate in the bottom i thought no i don't need to get filled with junk so i just leave it open from the bottom all the way through just a nice hollow little tube and that just lays in there and you know i thought about cutting little grooves into it for the ears to fit on yeah doesn't need it keep it simple <laughs> 